Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live. To Alcor, welcome to the Al Bike Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Tunisia versus France. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an excited match. And here's how Tunisia will line up. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Dayo Ipamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. And the contest begins. Griezmann. Benzema. Pavard with it. Mbappe. Griezmann! And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Antoine Griezmann. Saifedin Jaziri. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Interception to snuff out the danger. Aurelien Chouameni, nicely cut out. Now, let's see what they can do here. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, And momentum is with them. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. A level contest, 1-1. One, one.
And can they prize them open now? Griezmann. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Kazri, plenty of options. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Nicely timed tackle. Griezmann. And return to Mbappe. Nice and easy for the keeper. Well, that's in the remit of any referee to stop play. It's what he's going to do so the player can receive attention. Now back underway with a drop ball. Laiduni. Sliti. And there to intervene. Well, France have controlled possession, as you can see. But unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They certainly need to up the tempo. Indeed. And first, they have to win back possession. And it's going to run through to the keeper here. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Foiling his opponent completely. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, Karim Benzema has been a top striker for so many years, but even the best have days when it doesn't go to plan, and this has been one such day. Well, as the touch match shows us, he hasn't posed much of a threat so far, and that's down to a couple of things. Yes, the service hasn't been great, but his movement hasn't been good... So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. High quality defending. Rabio. Now with Benzema. And problem solved for now. Malul. Ferjani Sassi. A oh, terrific pass. Defensive resilience to shut them down. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Mbappe, he got a good palm on it. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And coolly done in the end. Twenty minutes remaining. Aurelien Chouameni. 
Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Pavard. There is the goal. And you could almost see that coming. They were sitting ever deeper. And now they've really paid the price. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Kylian Mbappe. Youssef Nsakni. And out of play for a throw in to France. And time for the change now. Entering the match. Number 22, Theo Hernandez. Teo Hernandez on to Benzema Mbappe plenty of players waiting in the middle really poor timing and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card well he's gone into the book well he was late and he deserved a booking for that Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And crossing towards the far post. And a bit short with the clearance. Well, that's the end of that for now. Dylan Braun. Aysa Laiduni bodies forward and the break looks on big chance determined defending and the final whistle is sounded a victory here for France Stuart your thoughts on their performance yes Derek there wasn't much in it to be honest really competitive game with chances at both ends but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end Well, you know, I think Kylian Mbappe enjoyed himself. Your verdict on his performance tonight? Yeah, he was a real handful today. He scored the winner and got himself into some great positions. He really did play well.